एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Hi, I'm Dr. Needham. We are going to learn a solution technique of for solving a differential equation that is called exact differential equation. So, welcome to this S Chand Academy. For more details of the topic, you can refer to the book from S Chand Publishing. Details of which is given here. Link is given in the description box from which you can get the book. So we will start with the solution technique of the differential equation. So this is uh, again the solution uh, technique of a first order differential equation. So we need to find out that when a differential equation is called as a exact differential equation. So first we need to understand that when the given differential equation will be called as an exact differential equation so if a differential equation is given in this form mxy dx plus nxy dy is equals to 0 if the given differential equation is in this form where mxy and nxy they are the functions of x and y respectively so uh, then this equation will be called exact this differential equation will be called as exact if my is equals to nx that is and the subscript stands for the derivative that is it can also be written as that partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x if this condition is satisfied then this differential equation is called as the exact differential equation so we have understood that how to write a, uh, how to identify whether the given differential equation is an exact differential equation or not after getting this condition verified we can say that the diff given differential equation is an exact differential equation now if the differential equation is uh, exact differential equation what what is the solution technique for that so for this we say that the function this m will be if m is equals to del f over del x and n is equals to del f over del y then fxy is equals to constant is called the solution of the given different of the given exact differential equation exact differential equation so first we need to identify whether the given differential equation is a, is an exact differential equation or not if yes then we will assume we will find out a function fxy which for which the m given function m is the first order partial derivative of this f with respect to x and this n will be the first order partial derivative of f with respect to y and when it satisfies these two uh, uh, functions then this fxy is equal to c will be called as the solution of the given exact differential equation so we will make it more clear by taking one example so we take the first example to solve an exact differential equation so let us say that the given differential equation is like this plus dx plus 2xy plus 1 dy is equals to 0 so this is the given differential equation now if we compare it with the standard form of uh, the exact differential whether to find out whether it is exact differential equation or not so this will be written as mxy 
and this will be written as nxy. So we need to check whether they satisfy this condition or not that is del m over del y then del n over del x. So we need to check whether they satisfy this condition or not. So we will take this mxy mxy is equals to y square minus 2x and if we differentiate this m with respect to y so it becomes del m over del y is equals to 2y right when we find out the derivative of n with respect to x so we get that del n over del x is equals to if this is to be differentiated with respect to x then y will be treated as constant and it becomes 2y. So you see that del m over del y is equals to del n over del x and therefore we can say that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation since it satisfies this condition so therefore we can say that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation. So first step is to check whether the given differential equation is an exact differential equation or not and we have checked that the given differential equation is an exact differential equation. So next is how to find out the solution for that. So we will take this m. So m x y is equals to y square minus 2x. Now we need to find a function f such that del f over del x is equals to mxy. So this is y square minus 2x. So this is given condition for the for us and when n is 2xy plus 1 we need to find out the same function f so that del f over del y is 2xy plus 1 okay so we need to find out this f from these two okay here we have to be extra cautious while calculating this f so we will start with we can start with either one we can take this this mxy first or we can take this nxy first so this will be the first way and we will take this mxy to get the uh, this fxy. Now let me call them as 1 and 2 for further reference. So from 1, from equation 1, we have del f over del x as y square minus 2x. Okay. We will integrate this, integrate with respect to x. So if we integrate this with respect to x, left hand side since we already have differentiation, so we are going to have this fxy after integration and this side we will integrate y square minus 2x dx and there will be a constant. Now here instead of a constant we will have a function of y and here this has to be of extra importance because we can, if we take it as constant then the whole solution may go wrong. Now let us try to understand why it should be a function of y. It should be a function of y because when it might have been differentiated with respect to x this would have given us 0 and that is why it is not appearing in del f by del x. So that is why to capture any such situation we have we need to consider that let us say that there may be might have been a function of y which on differentiating with respect to s my x might have given 0. So instead of constant we need to take this as function of y. So if we integrate this this becomes fxy is equals to y square x minus x square and plus this unknown function of y. So this portion is calculated is uh, uh, we, we got this integration of this one and now we are left with this as unknown. So we need to find out the, the expression for this 
g1 y for that we are going to use this second part so for the second part to use the second part what we do is let me call this as 3 let me call this portion this fx y as 3 so what we do is we will differentiate this 3 differentiate 3 with respect to y and then we will compare it with 2 they, sh they should give same result so differentiate 3 with respect to y so we will get del f over del y is equals to 2xy plus g1y g1 dash y clear the derivative of g1 with respect to uh, y now let me call this as 4 and on comparing 2 and 4 on comparing 2 and 4 we get that g1 dash y is equals to 1 right if we differentiate this differentiate this with respect to y differentiate with respect to y sorry integrate with respect to y integrate with respect to y and we get g1y is equals to y and now also there will be a constant of integration and let us say that that is c. Now we need to substitute this g1y in this form 3 to see that to find out the solution. We have observed that if we would have taken constant here, we would have missed this y and we, we were not able to get the correct solution for the differential equation. So, we need to substitute this expression of g1y in this expression number 3. So, 3 gives us the solution fxy is equals to xy square minus x square plus y plus c okay now this is going to give us the solution so the solution solution of the given exact differential equation let me call it as c1 exact differential equation is can be written as fxy is equals to xy square minus x square plus y plus c1 is equals to c. Now, since it is a, a first order differential equation and it cannot have two arbitrary constant, so after combining the two constants into one, the final solution can be written as xy square minus x square plus y is equals to and let us say another variable, another constant c2. So this becomes the solution of the given exact differential equation. So in this part, we have learned what do we mean by exact differential equation? What are the conditions for diff exact differential equation? And then this, to find out the solution of the exact differential equation. So in the second part of the video, we will take this n equals to del f over del y to find out the solution fxy equals to c. So for more details, you can go through the book which is from S. Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. So if you have liked the content, please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the, the notification as and when new video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.